Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, or so I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcar Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcars now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Careful where you say that. Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of Terrace as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, 
it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Back again? Well, do you have a deck yet? Would you like to play some Pazak? If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garouk. I used to be a card shark, one of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough, though it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course, of course. 
No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Now... What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. What? Why are you speaking to me? Get a... No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. No hard... Sure... Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. First you come over and say hi, then you scurry off as soon as you find out I'm a Sith soldier. You Theresians are a funny bunch. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. Why do you poor folk always... Taurus isn't such a bad place. I've been stationed in worse places than this during my commission. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Good to see Marl still around after all these years. He proves this isn't just a young man's game. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? 
I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? Uh, five? But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can, but not many do. You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. You seem to be hanging around here an awful lot. You actually going to step into the duel ring sometime? Or are you just here to watch? Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. You seem to be hanging around. I don't have time to answer your questions. Wait. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called Ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring, not to have some slack-jawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Back again? Didn't you get the message last time? I'm not here to make friends. Talk to the duel organizer if you want a match. Otherwise, leave me alone. Hello there, Offworlder. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My air You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak's star killer comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. Duncan? Worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gerlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gerlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Well, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy. But he's very, very good despite his insanity. 
Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. My area... I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the dual rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Viral blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Jioka kon molera, kien kon jo peshak, no ba molera ji. Eh, chachis ka don puta, don ba toras matilia. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Akuchikopa. Gino Mulera, King Paja. Akuchikopa. Gino Mulera, King Paja. Tawa Narota, Ayot Tago, ha ha ha. Uchang Yon Torum Jueva. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Deadeye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history. No past and no name. The mysterious stranger. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. But really, are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing is it news? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger! Thank you. 
I recognize you. You're that new duelist everyone's talking about. The mysterious stranger. Congratulations on your first win. Of course, you beat Duncan, so it's nothing to get too excited about. Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie. But Deadeye's a joke. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer, if you want to step up to the big leagues. I'll show you what it's like to fight a real duelist. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Bastille is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still... No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. Yes, what's on your mind? You get Jajiska <laughs> 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 